what's up gamer people it's your boy petros85 and in today's destiny video we're going to be talking about destiny's new twitch live stream called new things to earn that's going to be dropping on april 12th watch out for that update and there was a lot of content in this live stream the first thing they started talking about was they will be fixing the taken ghost and the crimson ghost that you would not be able to view that you got from the past year you'll be able to view them now they also started talking about that you'll be able to turn on and off your hub now so if you want to take your screenshots or make videos like i do you'll be able to turn off your you'll be able to move your gun and your light level and all that out of the way and they started talking about a new life system called chroma which gives all your armors like this strong look which i really like and the colors will be white yellow blue and red and they started showing off the new armors and how the chroma uh, light system works the first one was with dead orbit and all three classes and the new they started showing the new emotes that everest will be selling as well the second look was with new monarchy and the third was with future war cult the things that I got out of it is also the, the emotes that are coming out. I really like the Karate Kid one and the Mind Blown one. But the ones that we were really looking for is the next two armors that they showed, which were the Taken armor for all three classes and how they look. But they did know that you would not be able to get the Jitter emote until you, you unlock all one set of armor. And not last but least, but they showed the new Spectre line, which we showed cutscenes uh, or screenshots in the last Twitch live stream. Uh, new things to do, and how you come about of getting these two sets of armor the Taken armor and the Spectre armor. You'll be able to get them from your Postmaster, the level 41 Prison of Elders, and the level, the level 42 uh, Challenge mode. And of course the weekly crucible, which they're not they, they did note they did not want you to mistake it for the weekly bounties. It's gonna be the weekly crucible. And you'll be able to get them with these new sterling treasure boxes. Which you can preview the boxes to see the items that you could get. What stand out to me was the new reputation boosters, the new taken ship, which I thought was phenomenal and great looking. I'm pretty sure you only be able to get that in the challenge mode and of course the way you get the chroma lights to change your armors would be getting it right here on the sterling treasure boxes and the other thing that I like that they implemented was the new fusion system which all the armors that you get from the specter and the taking will be level a uh, uh, level three defense and you'll be able to fuse them as you can see here you'll be able to put a 330 item and fuse it to the three and instead of rounding out like in the past levels you'll be able to fuse it all the way to 330 and they also talked about how the chroma system works it will be start out it will give you one color like let's say white and you'll be able to rotate the color for a hundred glimmer but once you do that you will lose that first color that you pick to change it to a different color and it's a uh, random every time so if you click on it it'll be yellow and it'll probably be yellow again until you get it to the color that you want but they also noted that you will not lose your upgrades so if you fully upgrade this helmet and you rotate the color you will not lose your upgrades it will just change the color of the helmet then the one thing that we all wanted to hear is they increase the volt size of your guns I did not see the increase in volt size and the armors or your general items. They just showed the increase on your weaponry. But the one thing that I didn't see coming, they increased the items to the year one items to 320. Like the Shadow Price, the Badger CCL, the Lord High Fixer, and the Devil You Know, and also plenty of other weapons. So I really like that they're bringing year one guns back back and if you can't wait to get these items of course destiny wouldn't be destiny if you weren't able to buy them from eververse so if you can't wait to get these items just go ahead and go to eververse on april 12 and you'll be able to buy the the sterling treasure box but the one thing that really got me excited about this whole thing 
is you'll be able to add the chrome light system to your weapons and also depending on what gun you have it will the light the chroma light system will give a different look to the gun which i really like as you can see is the queen's wrath gun right there and then also another prison of elders gun right there as you can see from changing the different colors and the other thing that i like for all you sword fans there will be a new taken void sword a new taken ghost that you can only gain the prison of elders challenge mode and a new sparrow so for all you guys that want a new sparrows there'll be new sparrows new swords and new taken ghosts that's all they talked about for this one they say to wait for the new twitch live stream coming next week i hope you guys like the video like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video deuce deuce